Hello and welcome to Easy Products. After doing my chip chat video about the 4069 inverter chip, I thought maybe I should talk a little about how the outputs of these logic chips work. Because the output of the chips can be a little different and depending on the purpose you might need a specific output type. So the 4069 chip that I was using have a what's called a push-pull output. This means that you can either sync current or source current with the chip. You could either put an LED from the output to ground and it will light up when the output is high. Or you could put an LED from the output into the high voltage and it will light up when the output is low. And the chip is able to do that because of the uh, two transistor configuration in here. In the real chip it's uh, FETs instead of bipolar transistors, but the idea should be the same. And as we can see here we have the VCC on this side and the ground on this side. So with this, the output is high, then this transistor will be turned on and there will be a current coming out of the chip. On the other hand, if this is low, then this transistor will be turned off and this PNP transistor will be turned on and it can sync current from the output to ground. Now this seems to be the obvious way of making a chip, but you might not always want that. So there are some other types as well. And the second most common one will be the open collector or open drain output. And the difference from the push-pull output will be that this can only sync current, it cannot source current, because there's no uh, connection to VCC in here. So if I took my LED and connected it from the output of the chip to ground, and when this output should be high, well, nothing will happen because no current can get out of the chip. On the other hand, I could connect it from the positive to the chip, and when the output is low, the LED will light up. So to make a high output with this kind of chip, you'll have to put a, a pull-up resistor to the positive rail. And depending on how much current you need to source, you'll have to choose the resistor value to match that. But the catch is that uh, when this output is low, then all the current will go through the chip and to ground. So if you have six outputs and they are low, then all of the six pull-up resistors will make the chip draw a lot of current. But if you want to connect multiple outputs together, for some reason you will need one of these, because if you do it with the push-pull configuration, if one output is high and the other is low, it will just short out. But then open collector, open drain output configuration, that can never happen because you have only one rail in here. So if you, if this one is high and the other is low, then the maximum current that can be drawn from this is what you connect outside of here. And if that's a pull-up resistor, then the value of the resistor will determine how much current this will dissipate. So that's one thing to notice when you buy a chip. If you want to make LEDs light up or something else, you might want a push-pull configuration. There's also what is called an open emitter or open source output, but I don't think that's used in the common logic chips. But it's just the opposite of the open collector output. So you have a VCC and you can uh, source a current, but you can never sync a current. The reason I included this is not because it's used in logic chips, but if you need to draw a lot of current from a chip, then you might need to add a transistor to it. And if you only add one transistor and you use the uh, emitter to drive your load, then it suddenly becomes an open emitter output. And you have to remember that you cannot sync current with it. So on my constant current supply for the power supply I'm building, I have to use both an NPN and a PNP transistor on the output of a uh, inverter here. 
and that's driving a, a charge pump to make a negative voltage. If I'm only using the chip then I cannot get enough current through these uh, capacitors to supply enough current to the regulator to supply the op amp here. And if I only use the NPN transistor then I could indeed charge up the capacitor but the charge will just stay there because it has nowhere to go when the transistor turns off. Therefore I need the PMP transistor to pull the current back out of the capacitor when the output goes low. You could of course add a pull down resistor to this configuration. But if you want to empty a capacitor that might not be a good idea because there will be an RC time constant depending on the size of the capacitor and the resistor. And for a charge pump like I was building, I need to empty the capacitor as fast as possible, so I added the NPN transistor as well. And you can also make either of these a push-pull configuration by adding either a pull-down or a pull-up resistor and then adding the two transistors on the output. And just to prove the theory, I've built up a circuit here that's oscillating at uh, 32.76 kHz using the uh, 4069 inverter chip. And if you want to see how to make this circuit, you can take a look at my previous video, the chip chat number one. And here we're looking at the output of the inverter chip, and you can see it's a nice square wave. I have put the output of the oscillator into another inverter so we get a, a clean square wave output. And since this is a push pull output, I can connect an LED from the output to ground and it will light up. I can also connect it the other way around so I connect it from the from the output to the positive and it will also light up. But if I connect just the 220 nanofarad capacitor across the output then the voltage just sits somewhere between the rails because it, it cannot either switch fast enough or supply enough current to, to pull the capacitor high and low. So to make this happen we can add a transistor pair to the output so we will use both an NPN and a PNP transistor. And by using the push-pull configuration you can see there's only a slight change to the waveform when we connect and disconnect the capacitor. And if you were to use a, just an open collector output we can try to remove the PNP transistor that will make it an open collect output and you can see the oscillation has gone and the uh, output is just at the positive uh, voltage rail because there's no way the transistor can pull down the charge of the capacitor so it will always stay at the upper rail On the other hand, if we were using a open emitter output, the voltage will always stay at the ground level because there's no way the chip can rise the charge on the capacitor. So unfortunately I don't have any chips with open collect output, so I cannot show how to make one of these into a push-pull configuration. But it's just to add a pull-up resistor and a uh, transistor pair to the output, so that should be fairly simple. So, if you like this short video, please uh, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel. And uh, see you later.